following training video is a guide to using Celox gauze to pack a wound according to the product indications and packaging instructions. When responding to a casualty, it's important to identify catastrophic external hemorrhage as soon as possible. Fully expose the wound, identify the point of bleeding and apply direct pressure to stem the flow and gain control of bleeding. If blood has pooled in the wound, remove the excess using plain gauze, swabs or whatever material is available. Celox gauze is indicated for life-threatening bleeding. Familiarise yourself with the product's packaging. It has a tear notch at the right corners. While maintaining pressure on the wound, open the pack and remove Celox gauze from the packaging. Take one end of the gauze and tightly pack the unfolding Celox gauze directly onto the source of bleeding. Continue packing the wound while maintaining pressure at all times, feeding in the Celox gauze until the wound is filled beyond the skin level. For larger wounds that are not filled up by a single Celox gauze, use an additional Celox gauze or another plain gauze to fill above the skin level. As soon as the wound is packed, apply firm, constant pressure for three minutes. Visually check for bleeding around the dressing while still maintaining pressure. If bleeding has not stopped, reapply pressure until bleeding stops. If necessary, cut or tear off excess Celox gauze before securing the dressing in place. Wrap the wound using bandaging or a pressure dressing to secure and maintain pressure. Discard any remaining Celox gauze. Maintain pressure at all times. Remember to bandage tightly to maintain direct pressure through to the hemostatic. Record that Celox has been used in the wound. Place the packaging inside the bandage for the next stage of care. Check periodically and reassess the wound for bleeding until reaching the next stage of care.